Hello, this is Michael Thomas from Celebrate Messiah. I'm going to be looking at the last segment of a message series that we've developed called The Testing of Your Faith. I'm looking at a topic called Where Does uh, where does faith lead? And I think perhaps the beginning of this message, maybe we should be asking a slightly different question. How does faith really get us anywhere? Um, I think the problem is there's so much misunderstanding of what faith is. I think of the old lady at uh, her grumpy old husband's funeral where she stands up and says, I only hope he's gone to where I know he ain't. Well, that's not the kind of faith that we're talking about with God. A genuine faith is a confidence to comfortably trust that the object of your faith is sufficient to act as you need it to. When Teresa and I fly to the North Island, we board an 85 metric ton vehicle and accelerate to 250 kilometers per hour in 28 seconds down a one-way street that's a dead end. Well, of course, if you know that it's an airplane, that makes sense. But otherwise, you'd think we were crazy. Well, what should we do to prepare for such a, a travel as this? Should we perhaps practice flying? Or maybe we should um, flap our wings? Or, you know, maybe we should pray more or tithe more? No, as a matter of fact, when I go flying, I typically um, play solitaire. Why? Because I'm confident. I know with confidence that I'm going to comfortably trust the object of my faith to perform as expected. I know that airplane is going to make it to Auckland and I don't even give a second thought about it. As a result, because I have confidence that that vehicle will get us to where we expect it to go, I have complete peace. I'm not worried. I'm not afraid. I know it'll happen. Be aware of something though. My faith did not make that vehicle fly. My faith got me on that vehicle. Um, do you get it? I think the same is true of God. Our faith doesn't make God God. God is what he is because of who he is. The difference is that God can be God in my life when I, if you will, get on the plane, when I step out in faith and say, okay, God, you have permission to really be who you are in my life. I think of Abraham, who's called um, the man of faith. Notice, by the way, that Abraham wasn't a religious man, and he certainly wasn't perfect. What made Abraham who he is, is this. God made Abraham an outrageous offer. He said, I want you to leave your family, your land, everything you know behind, and I want you to go to a place where I will show you. He wasn't even going to tell him where he was going. He just said, simply said, leave behind what you know and go to a place that I will show you. And through many other trials like this, Abraham finally learned the lesson. He believed God and it was credited to him as righteousness. That's actually what God is looking for in us. That when God shows us something, when he says step out in faith, we believe that he'll be God and we trust him. I think also about David. Was he religious? Mm, absolutely not. Was he perfect? If you know anything about David, you wouldn't ask twice. No, he certainly wasn't perfect. But he did know, but we know him as a man after God's own heart. I think of Psalm 23 where he says, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. That was the confidence that David had to go through the valley of the shadow of death. He knew that God was with him. And that's what we need to understand. We may not know what we're going into or what's going to happen in our lives. But when we simply trust and say, I know that you're with me, we have peace with him. And he steps in as God and does what he will because we've given him permission. We've, we've asked him to be a part of that area of my life. My other favorite verse is actually one verse after that in Psalm 23, where he says, he prepares a table before me in the presence of my enemies. I think of, the, I think of David on the battlefield. All his enemies are surrounded, ready to fight against him. And God says, hey, David, forget all your enemies. Come sit with me.
have a cup of coffee, enjoy. And um, I think that's what it really means to have faith in God, is to get to that place that says, I don't know what I'm going to face. I don't know what's ahead, but I trust you. I believe you. And that's the kind of faith that, it's, it's the faith that comes, um, according to Romans, uh, faith comes by hearing, and that from the Word of God. And I, I find that the saints that really have a deep and abiding real faith, it comes from a real knowledge of God's Word, because we see the testimonies again and again and again. So where does faith lead? Faith leads us to believe that God is God in whatever situation we're in. We don't need to know the situation that's coming. We don't need to be prepared for it. I'm not saying don't be prepared for what you know, but I'm saying that God is big enough to handle anything that the world can throw at us. We just have to simply trust him. I'll finish with my favorite, one of my favorite verses, which happens to be a wonderful and amazing hymn. And it's from 2 Timothy 1.12, where it says, I know who I've believed, and I'm persuaded that he is able to keep that which I've committed unto him against that day. Are you confident in him? That's what, that's what faith is all about. It's the simple knowledge that he is God. Thanks a lot.